what is up guys we are back again today with another video and for today's video guys yes you read it correctly you guys saw the title in the thumbnail we are back in the wolf among us i hope you guys have been enjoying this series it's been getting crazier and crazier the deeper we get into the story and i think we're just getting started so buckle up and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and without further ado let's get into the video All right the woodsman's apartment early and morning we ended up going out the window and i landed on toad's car you guys made a real mess yeah Looks worse in the day. All right, so if you guys remember, in the last episode, we chose to go to Toad's uh, place first. Wait here. I think it's actually good that I didn't call attention to myself. Where the hell? Shit. How do you get away? Hmm. Gonna go find I'm Toad. Sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. Toad. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Got something over here. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. I want to make sure that there's nothing else to look at. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Alright, let's go out here and talk to him. We could probably get that fixed. Really? That's all you wanted to say? Alright, let's get on with it. All right, I'll deal with this. Toad, what's going on? Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White. I saw someone. There was someone but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But Listen, it was I'll, nothing. I'll really. leave when I'm ready. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? <laughs> it has a weevil. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. What's up with the broken lamp here, huh? How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. 
or the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Marks on your window here, bucko. Let's talk about this first. Got blood on it. Hmm. What happened here? The poker? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mavering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Puts a bean of fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. I don't believe that bullshit. Why is there blood up here? I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rat. Said a, your got foot. some on the furnishments. No, he said his foot. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Oh, you cut your Boy, foot. You cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I ain't. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just going to make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. <laughs> Hmm. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. No, I... there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? I'm by Scared it. Junior off to death. Hmm. Better go talk to him then. Go talk to Junior. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Can't Toad's talk hiding to something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. I talk to him. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. <laughs> well, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's well, then, the point of all this? Then why did you climb through the window? Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? 
You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. <laughs> you wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Nah. I should probably get that thing fixed. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. Have to intimidate. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Me boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. Can't we just start over? Lucky I'm willing to look around some more. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's a pulpit's apartment, Big B, with a door and all. What'd you want? Oh, that's where the lamp was. He said that someone had fallen. <laughs> Broken lamp was here. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. The mark don't in the you dust. Think I don't know what happens in it. I can see the power because outlet and the dust. it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet. No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When you tell me the truth. When you start telling me the truth, tell, tell me the damn truth. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Lie, Toad. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. Damn. It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, thumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. He come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. Ah, then. He tore up the place. And I didn't have to beat him up. up. I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window. But he pulled me back in. Oh, it's what, been a whole morning. What did you tell him? I'll tell you that. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. 
Well, merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Damn. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. That's, that's the donkey. Got a piece of paper. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed huh. to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? I think we open it. I think we open it and see what the fuck's going on here. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. What's Maybe going on Lawrence over here? Does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. TJ? Uh, see ya. Adios, amigo. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? All right. Just humor me. Oh, we need... Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Okay. No. I think it's probably blocked. Okay, yeah, he's dead as fuck in there. Hey, he's dead. Can you hear me? I need to tell her. Hey, yeah, uh, there's a dead son of a bitch in there. Can I fucking... Can we walk? Oh, my God. I swear to you, the walking be clunky. Walking be clunky. Go in there. Just, just go in there. Yep, that is the smell of a dead person. Oh my god. Uh, stay with me, man. So go we'll get, get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with no! you. No! No! Let me go. <laughs> she. What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Vicky, water. water. Kitchen. before he dies. If you had something to ask him, you should do it now. Got time for one question. Who did this to you? Who did this to you?
getting interested. The Faith is still alive. I think that was Red Riding Hood. Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. I said who did it. I said Faith did it. Would someone want to kill him? Bullet holes. What is that? Read it. It starts with a bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Let's go read the note on the bridge. No one's read these in a while. What's going on here? Oh, fuck! Stay here! No! Oh, shit. It scared the fuck out of me. Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Hell no. Oh, shit. Oh! All right. Oh! Fuck you! Oh! Uh. Come on! Uh, he closed the door. I heard it close. There he is. Got him! Oh, son of a bitch! Oh my god. Oh my god, are you serious? Jump. Oh my god. Same side here. You son of a bitch. Who are you? Make me run after you. 
Who are you? <sighs> what? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. You're covered in blood. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. I believe you. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your boss? Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come <laughs> on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you. No, to... I'm D. He's dumb. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, damn. No looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. All right. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go and wrap up this episode here. We are getting deeper and deeper into this game and we're getting damn suspects. We're finding new new bodies, new murders. This game is just getting more and more interesting. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it. If you guys have been, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. And if you guys want to see more content, as I always say, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.